Today, I'm going to take you to the underworld of my reef tank. That's right. I'm gonna show you what's uh what's in my tank stand. <laughs> products it is a problem so if you're like me my tank stand is uh, incredibly messy I didn't clean it out for you guys either thought it'd be really authentic and genuine to show you guys the real condition of uh, my aquarium stand so just go with it no no judgments I'm sure yours probably looks worse <laughs> can we cut that out just joking guys. Yeah, no judgments here, judgment free zone. I'm just gonna go over all of the products that I use, why I use them, and I guess what I'm really into right now. Cause uh, whatever, we'll just go with it. First, I guess we'll go to the top shelf. Top shelf of my aquarium stand, we have messy, messy, unexcusable mess of a doser unit. Now look, look, I can explain, I promise. I have a lot of hate. <laughs> A lot of hate for this doser system considering it killed every single thing in my tank. Yeah, it hurts. So I hate dosers. Hate dosers with a passion. Not about this doser. Not about to untangle it because it doesn't deserve it. Being a little bit ridiculous, but seriously, <laughs> screw this doser. Okay, so what we have here, we have my doser, my Jabo, my Jabo doser, my Jabo slave pump. Slave pump right here, doser underneath. It's the cheapest doser you can find on the market. Well, I hate to advocate on spending a lot of money on dosers because um, I just don't believe in dosers. I feel like unless you have a big tank that can handle a doser, I don't think you should be messing with them. I think for a nano tank like mine, I think you chose your fate. <laughs> you decided that a small tank was more important to you than a big tank for whatever reason, for whatever justification. Deal with the consequences. Hand dose. Now, I know a lot of you are gonna be like in the comments, but Stephanie, I have a nano tank and I dose all the time. Uh, I mean, that's cool and all, but all my corals died. <laughs> I'm just joking, I'm just joking. No, but seriously, <laughs> I'm not. If you keep a doser in a nano tank, what I'm trying to say is be very cautious and make sure you set it up to the utmost accuracy because even if you think it's gonna be okay, it might not be okay. Don't underestimate the power of a J-Bo doser. <laughs> I think that's all I have to say about the doser. Anyway, all I have. By the way, this is my friend Tara. Hey. She is in the, she's hanging out with me, watching me do a YouTube video because she's that, cool of a friend. Love it. She thinks that reefing is the most boring thing ever. I don't. I think it's reefing madness. Reefing madness. Here, come back. You're gonna join me in this video now. You can't just make an introduction in my video and then leave. Here I am. Here I am. Okay. Let's do it. Green bucket. This yep. was my attempt once upon a time to organize my tank stand. Clearly that was ineffective, but whatever. And my green bucket... I have all of my glue of all sorts. So I'm gonna start off with the putty. We have aqua sticks. Aqua sticks putty. Okay, everybody raves about putty. About this, um, this putty stuff. Okay, but honestly, I'm the only person who thinks this, so. But I just, I feel like it's so ineffective. Like, they say it can hold rock work together. They say it can glue the most unruly of corals to your rock work. But honestly, yeah. this thing has never held anything for me. And I've tried all of the techniques that people have suggested. It's not doing it for you. It's just not doing it for me. And okay, the reason I have two of these guys is because um, I started this A-Can garden, right? I started this a Okay, so we paused the video right before I made my little A can introduction. But basically, I had this A can garden, right? I have them on this ledge right yeah. here. This ledge right here. Yeah. And it was just lacking dimension. They were all like flat, and I was like, they should be like a little lumpy, you know, like give it more like oomph. 
-hmm. I thought like maybe adding a little bit of putty would make things more creative. I never went ahead with it. All right. Okay. Next in my green bucket of goodies, I have best glue. Dollar store glue. Uh, what else do I have in my green bucket? I have my Polylab filter lens kit. You know what the Polylab filter lens kit does? It takes out the blue. Micro lens with that, with that orange filter. What that micro filter, oh, I can't do that. Micro lens <laughs> with the orange filter and with the yellow filter stacked on top. Recipe for success. Shout out to Poly Labs. Poly Labs. Coral Labs. What is next? I think I can reach. Sally Fruit Test Kit. No, I'm, I messed with Sally Fruit Test Kit. Really accurate. But man, do they take a long time. Gosh, it'll take me like an hour to go through all of them. But the accuracy is just. That means bueno. Test all my Sally Fruit once a week, every Sunday. Every Sunday I test my Sally Fruit. On top of my auto top off, which I'll get to later, I have these babies. That's right. Oh, I got one more. Oh, can I check it? Shamelessly, I only, I only test these like in between my Sally Fruit. So I test Sally Fruit on Sunday. Sally Fruit on Sundays. Can of checkers on Wednesdays. Can of checkers. My messy bottom shelf. Under here, I have my auto top off. This is my auto top off. Innovative Marine auto top off. I like it. It, it works well. Mighty Jet upgrade pump that I never installed. Mighty Jet pump. This is probably the most embarrassing thing that I have. It's a box of my Salford test expired. I kept all of these little syringes. I don't know why. I have a ton of them. One day I might need this. What if I really just want a target feed? Well, you know what? If I want a target feed, I got like 10 syringes. So, okay, what's next? Got a, a cool towel I got at one of these aquarium conventions. Next, I have some handy dandy filter floss. Go wrong with filter floss. I have this cool coral lens viewer to take cool pictures. <laughs> I paid way too much for this, but now I can take pictures of my corals from the top. Uh, this one's full, so this one's gonna be a treat. Kemi Pure Elite. I put this in my media basket. Love this stuff. Um, I also couple that with Purigen. No box. I keep a uh, no pox handy for like worst case. I use this stuff when I had pryopsis. If you watched some of my earlier videos, no pox was what got rid of my bryopsis for good. I really, I can't say I advocate for the use of Nopox because if you can, if you can get rid of algae and nitrates and phosphates like the natural way, this is like my emergency, or I messed up. I really shouldn't say that I messed up. I give enough hay as it is. Polyp Lab Polyp Booster. Oh, it's like a tongue twister. Okay, love this stuff. I do this before I feed my corals. Fun fact, put this in your tank, then feed your fish, and then feed your coral. Cause I'm telling you, if you have a cleaner shrimp like I do, <laughs> your corals don't stand a chance of eating. Foss guard. Foss guard because sometimes you just can't get your phosphate down without a little bit of help. Um, I've only, Tried this out on my tank for one week. It worked, but I, I don't really encourage using this stuff long term because I feel like if you're constantly running stuff like Fosgard, and then when you stop using it, you get the phosphates, right? Not a permanent solution. Fosgard. Rebroids. Best coral food. Really mess with my roids. Always mess with them. Nothing compares. That's all I have to say. What I dose, I'm gonna make a video about this, but I have ESV two part right here. ESV two part. I also have fuel, which is probably really expired. And last but not least, we have my little mumbo jumbo cleaning station. Squirty thing that is the best target feeder, the best point and shoot feeder. Mm -hmm. And then I have my handy dandy skimmer brush. Gotta have a skimmer brush. I have another turkey baster. Can't <laughs> not have enough turkey basters. Keep your turkey basters. Turkey baster. I have some octopus snot. Shout out to Ocean Avenue. They just, uh, they made this new glue. But I mean, this is gonna keep me running. So, octopus snot. Uh -huh. I got some bone cutters, cause. <laughs>
them. An absolute reef essential. You could literally snap someone's finger off. That's how wild they are. <laughs> snap your finger off right now if you give me permission. I don't want to. Do it for the hey. clickbait. Yes. Girl, you need to help me out more. <laughs> so, I hope you guys enjoyed this video going over all of my products that I am really into right now for my reef tank and in this disaster of the underworld of my aquarium stand that I <laughs> Not a good sound. Like this video if you enjoyed it and dislike it if you didn't. And make sure to hit me up in the comments below if you actually use any of these products or what products that you're really into right now because <laughs> I seriously hoard aquarium products, so if you've got any recommendations, let me know.